Hey, what's up everybody? It's Black Angela coming back at you with another video. I am currently in the kitchen, but regardless, I've got another interesting video for you guys today. It's going to be feeding day. Today is Thursday. I don't normally feed on Thursdays, but I'll be busy this weekend, so I will be feeding ahead of time. Now, I've got my crickets here. I already opened the bags. Crickets there, crickets there. And I have all the enclosures open. I don't recommend doing this if you have too many teas, because... If you don't look for very long, one might bolt out. So I'm going to start with the small ones first and then get to the big ones. As you can see, a lot of them are just chilling, even with the enclosures open. I don't recommend leaving it open for very long because they will run. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to get my cricket out. Small cricket. Okay. This is the ornamental. I don't know what kind of ornamental it is, but cricket's going right in. And that's it. Just going to leave it there. And if my ornamental is not hungry, it will kill it, like it did last week. So, just want to confirm that it's in primo. We'll see. I think it is, but we'll see right now. All right, good stuff. Close that one. I'm going to be misting all the enclosures um, right after this video, so maybe I'll include that in there. It's not really anything too crazy. It's just me doing a bunch of misting. So, over here, if I can get one. Did I get one? No, I missed. Yeah, I'm right next to the stove, I know, but it's not going to be turned on, so don't worry about that. Aye, aye, aye. It's funny because... Ah, there we go. Gotcha. Gotcha. Put you in here. Got him. Got him. Instant death. No chance. What I was saying was, I did start using a Critter Keeper last week, and... When I went to the store, on the way to the store, one of the bigger ones ate one of the smaller ones. So I was getting home hope, hoping that, I don't live very far from the reptile store, so I could have gone back and got more, but I was hoping that they didn't all eat each other. So I'm not doing that again. Uh, I think this one's, oh, I thought it was dead, so it's dead. Where's my bird eater? My green bottle blue. Wish I could, God, get out of that corner. And it has been hanging out in this corner. So I'm going to drop it right here. Let's see if I can get it in there. Got him. I wish y'all could see the pounce. This thing is a trash can. It'll eat anything. One time I put a large cricket in there and ate the whole thing. I didn't feed it for like three weeks because it was that big. So yeah, I was saying about the critter keeper thing. I'm never doing that again because crickets are cannibals. They will eat each other and they will eat your tarantula if it's in pre -mold. So if you guys are ever feeding your tarantulas, do not leave a cricket in there for too long. If, and if your tarantula just doesn't eat it, just take it out. Because it, Cricket will start eating on it and the tarantula will not, I guess, eat the... Got him! Woo! The tarantula will not eat the Cricket. So all three of these guys are my best eaters. When they're not in pre -molt, they just pounce on anything I put in. My Sun Tiger is here. And I'm going to be putting a large one in for the Sun Tiger. Now lately... Oh, see, I don't like these large Crickets, man. They just... They're so fidgety, you know? They just keep running. If you heard that sound, it looks like I have an email, so I gotta check that when I'm done with this. Oh my god. Large crickets are the worst because, especially when your tarantula's in primo, you're trying to get it out, and they're just so annoying. Okay, I got this one. Yep, look at that. Nope, squirt it out. Did I get this one? No. Nope. Come on. Come on. Got you. I really don't want to squish the head because I like watching the. Crickets get eaten. I think one jumped out. I feel like one jumped out of the bag. No, I guess it didn't. Okay. Oh, here we go. Come on. There's no easy way to do this. There really isn't. Usually I just dump them in, but I've so had sorry. No oh, camera turn. I've had so many times when oh god, I find oh, no, I thought I got one. If I, yo, if I have to squish the head, I won't squish the head. I already know. But if I have to do that, I'm doing it. There we go. Where you going? Okay, look at my sun tigers not eating right away. Alright, well, we're gonna put one. How many do I have left? One, two, okay, we got enough. So, my Chile Beautiful, which is over here, it's kind of a weird name for a tarantula, but that tarantula is in Primo, so I am not gonna be feeding that one. But how I know it's in Primo, I left some crickets in there when I got it a couple weeks ago. Left them in there for 12 hours. People say 24 hours, I do 12. Because if your tarantula is not going to eat whatever it's inside its enclosure in 12 hours and the enclosure is not that big and it can find it, 
I feel like 12 hours is long enough. You shouldn't have to keep it in there for 24. I feel like 24 is just overkill. All right, let's see if this one eats it. <sighs> yeah, yes! No, man. You must be camera shy. When I first got her, she would always pounce on them, especially after her primo, but now she's... Now she just leaves them. She does eat them, I will say that, because her behind is fat. I'll show you guys that in a little bit. Just ripped off one of the cricket's legs. Come on. Come on. Jeez. These crickets will... They'll, like, lose legs. They'll get squished. They'll just fidge it out. See? Got one. See that? Drop it in there. That's done. Cool. Curly hair is over here. I'll feed that one right now. Ah, there we go. Did y'all see that? Ah, you guys missed it. Dang it. I'll watch the video again after it's over to see if I caught that, but she did eat it. it. Took a little while, but we got it. And once again, I don't normally feed like this, so yeah. If you guys are wondering about the ping pong balls inside, I watched a video of a tarantula, like, moving a ping ball. Yeah, ping ball. Jeez, my bad. Ping pong ball. That was interesting, so I decided to put them in there, and they do use it, but they don't use it for what I want them to use it for. Look at that, see? That cricket's almost de-winged. Crazy. They will just do anything not to get not to get caught. The smaller ones are much easier. Oh my gosh, come on. So yeah, I got a little bit of bad news. So the slings I got that I did rehouse, I lost my Oklahoma Brown, and I lost either... The HMAC, the Togo Starburst, or the P... It's in the it's in the Pokey family. I forgot the name. But it's, it's the Feather Leg. So I lost one of those. Ah, no, my Sun Tiger got it. You see that? Can you guys see that? Sorry, I can't focus on the camera right now. I'm trying to get these crickets out. Gotcha. You're going to go in there. My Costa Rica Stripe Knee, or Costa Rican Zebra, as it has been renamed, is in there. So yes, anyways, I made um, air holes, and apparently the air holes, I guess, were too big. So it escaped. Well, they escaped. There's two of them. So the one thing I have left that didn't escape is either the HMAC or the Togo Starburst or the Feather Leg. I'll just use the regular name since I don't know the scientific name of the Feather Leg. I forgot it. Gotcha. In you go. All right, and that's it for those. Whoa. One of them jumped into the other enclosure. Did you guys see that? All right, maybe I need to close the enclosures here. Told you, look at this. Got him. Go back in. Alright, I'm going to start closing these enclosures because it looks like these guys are getting a little jumpy. Don't need to stop the video to do that. So, yeah. So, basically, they escaped and, yeah, that's it. Nothing really to report there. It's kind of unfortunate. I did lose the OBT sling, as I said before. almost lost my bird eater, but those did not escape. And, whoa, it looks like my camera room red is out. My pet hole is out. The pet hole. The infamous pet hole. Come on, guys. I'm going to snap some pictures right now. Oh, my God. Finally. I have never been able to get a picture of this one. Anyways. All right. Well, let's feed this one. Maybe I can show you guys the live feeding of this one. That would be dope. So, yeah. I did change all the enclosure labels because I felt like the scotch tape stuff wasn't working very well. And it was... Kind of weird when I was taking it off. So. so the smalls are less fidgety, but they yeah, there we go. See, that's the problem. They jump a lot. Alright, hold on, let me get it in here. Come on, in here. Got it. Dump it in there. Yep, they got it. They got it. You guys missed it, darn. Darn you guys missed it. So disappointed. Darn cricket, do you see that? It got it. That. It's gonna go right back into its hole, huh? You little pet hole. And you flooded the whole enclosure. <sighs> Anyways, so yeah. Why do I have so many extra small crickets? I don't need that many small crickets. 
But yeah, it's very unfortunate that I lost them. So I just didn't think that it would happen. I mean, I put the holes in so small. I was watching them for a while, and then obviously I had to go to bed. I can't stay up 24 straight hours. I woke up, they were gone, I sifted through the substrate and everything, so, you know, it's kind of unfortunate, but it's okay. It's not like it was a crazy expensive tarantula. Oh, you guys see that? Did you guys see that attack? That was a savage attack. And this is fun. I should do this every week. That was great. My rear horn baboon just jumped out of there. Oh my goodness. And like I said, these ones will get eaten later, so I'm not too worried about that. They will get eaten. Because I always open the enclosure up a couple hours later and they're gone. But I guess it's more of a reclusive thing where they don't want to eat right away. So, fine with me. Alright, so. The only one that's not labeled, like I said, is... This one, because I'm not sure what it is. All right, it looks like this one's in pre mold This is the second week in a row I put it in there. It would have at least done something, but it killed it last time, so I'm just going to let it kill it. And then it can, you know, be taken out later. All right, here we go. Good job, good job, pick it. And go down. Thank you. This is the Brazilian white knee. I put a little log in and decided to make a nice little home, so it's underneath there. It is in there, don't worry. Funny enough, I let the lid slide open on this one and it didn't get out. Maybe it's because it can't climb the enclosure walls, I don't know. But yeah, guys, that's my daily feeding ritual for the week. And if I, have, if I ever have any extras, I keep them in here. And I just feed it to the teas I know will for sure eat it. A couple hours later. Like my sun tiger's probably going to get this large. And my GBB will get a couple of these small because it will for sure eat them. That's it. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm still a little bit confused as to how those tarantulas got out. But, yeah, in terms of feeding, guys, if you're ever feeding any girls, I always say guys, guys and girls. I know girls do keep tarantulas also. Like I said, I do the 12-hour rule. You can do the 24 hours, but it's always safe just to take them out because the crickets will start eating on your tarantulas if it's in pre -mult. And the tarantula will kick hairs, or worst case scenario, it'll bite it and then kill it. So, you know, like it will kill it. It'll just bite the thing, inject some venom, and kill it like my ornamental over here did. But if you're worried about your tea being stressed out or whatnot, it definitely I believe it's good to uh, just take them out. I mean, for larger ones, it's kind of hard, especially when you're tarantulas create burrows like this see that like watch we'll lift up this log and get so you guys can see that that's it it webbed up the whole entire hide and doesn't want to use a hide it wants to use that tiny little corner makes no sense but spiders are weird so i guess they want to do that you buy it a hide and it doesn't want to use it so anyways that's pretty much about it that's my daily feeding not daily feeding but jeez not bad that's my weekly feeding, sometimes bi-weekly, depending on how much they eat. So, you know, those will be eaten later. My striped knee is using the ping pong ball to cover up the enclosure because it doesn't want anybody coming in, I guess. You're not getting out, Cricket. I ain't letting you get out. Nope, you're done. Stay in there. And that's it, guys. As always, thanks for watching. I know it was a long video, but I just wanted to show you guys that. If you're wondering about what I use for the labels, I used just regular printer paper, typed it up, and put scotch tape this time, so you see the scotch tape on there, so it's not just going to come off. And I put the scientific name and then the regular name. I want to say English, because it's not really English name, but I put the regular common name. Common name, there you go. Alright, so yeah. That's pretty much it. These three did get rehoused, so they're in much bigger enclosures, and it's especially helping with this one. This one likes to web up a lot, so it would web up the entire enclosure, which I don't mind, but then would web up the water dish, and then the water dish would make the wood, which I use for a hide, it'll make that wet, and I have to replace it like every two weeks, so I think we're good now, I think. Knock on wood. Not wood, but we're knocking. So yeah. Okay. 
think that's pretty much all for today. I'm going to be watering the enclosures. I'll do that off camera though. I don't want to bore you guys with that. It's been a long video already. And I'm glad you guys have to see some of them eat and some of them even come out. I mean, like this guy. It's the first time I've seen this one come out ever. Ever since I got it. Ever since I gave it this home with these ones. These two will be getting rehoused um, soon. I do have the large enclosures ready, but I like how they made all the burrows and I don't want to stress them out and have them make whole new burrows when they don't really need to yet because they are slightly smaller than these three. So they'll be getting rehoused probably in about two months and then I'll rehouse them. Then they can make these burrows again, but they're pretty cool. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. And as always, peace with two fingers.